Hey, uh, uh, morning guys, uh, how are you? Uh, this is uh, uh, Baris Antonio, uh, as usual, my slogan. It's a beautiful morning actually here. Uh, today is my off day, but I've taken this time because of uh, a lot of requests and demands that Antonio, uh, you need to make for us an Arabic coffee. So actually today, uh, that's exactly what I want to do. Imagine my off day. I've just decided to come to showcase on how we can make a lovely uh, Arabic coffee and I'll give you a small um, intro about the Arabic coffee uh, how it is made, how it is served uh, the dollars, you see the cardamom powders things that you want to hear about the Arabic coffee and how we do it here in, uh, in GCC so please uh, welcome and join me in a few minutes uh, Shukran Jazilan Uh, there we go again, uh, by San Antonio. As we always say, uh, American slogan, a promise is a debt. So uh, let's begin. So, but uh, to begin with, I'll able to give you a small biography uh, about the Arabic coffee. So simply, in simple terms, what I'm able to say about Arabic coffee, Arabic coffee refers to a version of the brewed coffee of Copea Arabica. Uh, beans and uh, it is typically grown at a height of uh, 200, uh, 1,000 to 200 meters uh, 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 height. Then uh, also, uh, what I can say uh, about the Arabic coffee is that uh, uh, 60 to 70 percent uh, dominates uh, the coffee industry, and Arabic coffee has a lot of uh, benefits because people are asking that how much benefits. Yes. Arabic coffee is usually free uh, of any calories. Moreover, the ingredients actually which are incorporated or made of uh, Arabic coffee have a lot of uh, health benefits. So today, I want to show you how to be able to brew a very nice Arabic coffee. Stay tuned. Yeah, let's go. Uh, yes, okay, so uh, there we go. Uh, the whole setup actually is already done. So we need actually now to get into the ingredients on what uh, we need to do when uh, we are making our Arabic coffee. So today I'm in uh, my uh, restaurant, love restaurant. So first thing first, so I'll be able to show you actually uh, some of the ingredients that you're able to know uh, to, uh, to use. So here uh, I'm having uh, dates. Uh, in uh, Arabic here they call it tamar, uh, that's what they call it, and that's what I'm gonna use uh, for my Arabic coffee. Then down here you can see some two little things, uh, they want to pull, uh, yes, they look like a hat. These are called uh, clothes, you see, so this is also uh, what I'm gonna use uh, for my Arabic coffee. Uh, then. Uh, uh, over here, I have my Arabic coffee uh, already mixed uh, with the cardamom, uh, as you can able to see. Uh, and here, I have this uh, red stuff. Uh, you can able to see this called saffron uh, or saffron, the way they call it here. Then uh, I have here the cinnamon sticks. They bring very nice aroma actually in the Arabic coffee. So those are the things that I'm going to use. Then uh, as you can able to see, you're able to wonder what it is. And this is a, a bamboo stick. I'll show you where you use it uh, during our uh, enjoying our rabbit coffee. You can see I have something like a fire. It's lighting actually. As you can see, it is lighting, removing fire. So uh, it's a lighter. I'll show you. I'm going to use it. Then uh, here we have a very nice pot. Some they call it pot, but uh, this is called a dollar. They call it a dollar pot. It's very nice. Then uh, over here I have a stand, so we call it a, a dollar stand. So these are actually the main components that uh, are used uh, during uh, uh, the preparation of the Arabic coffee. Then if I forget down here, you can able to see it. There's a candle, so I know candle and this one get along. I'll show you how they get along during the preparation. So uh, that's our setup. So the next thing, let's go uh, where I always cook my Arabic coffee. 
are able to serve you here in this uh, nice cup. You see, nice ceramic uh, with uh, lots of love. Put it here, then we enjoy our Arabic coffee. Let's get into the main thing. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, like, and share. Yeah, uh, so there we go. So these are able to start. Uh, I sanitize, uh, very important. I do a bit of sanitization over here. Make sure that your hands are clean. Uh, I put on my gloves. So first thing, uh, I have my induction uh, over here. This is where I'm going to prepare my, uh, my ready coffee. I have my pot. So the next thing are the measurements because I've already given you the ingredients, uh, what you're supposed to have, uh, what you're supposed to put in. Now it's just actually getting started. So I'll start getting my water pass. I have my scale over here. I'll be able to measure my water. What shall we do? Sanitize. So, uh, my water is already mentioned actually. Uh, so, uh, for the serving, one serving we serve in this uh, dollar pot. And uh, for the uh, dollar pot, it takes also 300, actually. It does take 300 uh, uh, ml at the dollar pot. So, uh, since I'm having a lot of uh, ingredients over here, and uh, you know, preparation for the Arabic coffee actually it depends with different regions. So mostly here in Middle East, we do it in Oman, we do it in Kuwait, uh, we do it in Qatar, we do it in Dubai. But every region has a specific way on how they do the Arabic coffee. But this is my special way actually, the way that I have in uh, in, in GCC. So I have everything here raw. So I'll start actually by using uh, cold water because I need to boil each and everything actually so that I can get the dominant flavors, you know. Some that stream the hot water and able to do it in a, in a, in a, in a splash. But I myself, my water actually is very cold. So I'll uh, pour it over here, uh, my induction. So remember I'm doing uh, 450 grams of uh, uh, 400 ml of water. Then I'll put the ingredients over here. So that uh, when the boiling actually starts, I'm able to achieve my 300 uh, in my data. So, we go. There we have started. So, I'll be waiting for my water. Uh, the induction. I like this element because it's so quick, you know. And yeah, this one is uh, Sylvester. Uh, it's doing calibration today. Me too. I'm washing the machine. Yes, it's doing the calibration over there. So today is my off day, uh, but for the love of work and the demand that you guys have, that uh, today we need to make Arabic coffee, uh, that's why I'm here. So uh, about the ingredients uh, I showed you, so what I'll just do, I'll take my uh, uh, Arabic coffee, I've already pre-mixed uh, with the cardamom uh, in it. Uh, over here, so I'll just put over here inside everything inside. Then uh, I will take my uh, cinnamon sticks. The cinnamon actually always give a very nice uh, aroma. And I'll add the coffee, and then I have my, my gloves. They're both gloves, I'll put them over here. Uh, uh, three, then that's it. Then uh, for my uh, for my uh, saffron, I'll put much more data actually because saffron actually brings the golden color in the radio coat. Uh, then I just mix my concoction. Uh, it nicely mixed uh, over there. So the next thing that I will be doing is waiting for it to boil because it's supposed to take uh, 20 to 25 minutes. So it's supposed to boil, it's supposed to agitate the cardamom that you have put, uh, the, uh, the coffee that you have put. So 
So 20, 25 minutes actually is uh, perfect uh, for this one. And you need to be very, very careful. You need to be watching because once you start boiling, actually, if you're not careful on your way, it will actually uh, come out of the pot. The boiling it will come out. So you need to be checking. So in the meantime, uh, when it's boiling, we can also be doing uh, something else. Uh, we can be making a setup on how uh, we are going to actually uh, serve it uh, to our guests when it's boiling. What shall we do to sanitize? What shall we do? Nina mini mungu e corona itaisha. Keep on starting. Uh, when you when you start actually you agitate uh, the ingredients uh, inside the pot. Then uh, once actually it has really boiled uh, in a span of 20 to 25 minutes, so you need actually to be preparing a strainer because we need now also to, to strain it. So we're able to strain it, uh, then able to put it in our, in our dala. So uh, what I always do is that uh, we need to serve hot coffee, especially right, right now we are going towards the winter. So we need to serve very hot coffee to our guests. So what I do, I'll take my dala, uh, put hot water in it, so that it can be preheating actually to uh, get uh, hot water. Uh, so uh, this is my, my dala pot uh, over here, so it's very clean. I'll just put hot water there uh, to maintain the, the temperatures before uh, I so the water is very hot, uh, so it will maintain actually the, the nice uh, temperatures uh, for the gala. Uh, then uh, this one is the stand, and I told you this is called the dollar stand. And if you look at the dollar stand, actually, it has uh, a candle, and uh, here I have a lighter. So during our servings, uh, this is how we serve actually uh, our uh, our. Arabic coffee. I'll take my Arabic coffee, which is actually preparing from now. I put it over here. I'll light uh, the candle, then put this one on top when I'm serving actually on the table. So to maintain actually the temperature uh, of the, the Arabic coffee, while the guests are enjoying their coffee on the table. Okay. So this coffee actually it is. Uh, Vast known uh, in Middle East. Uh, in fact, even in Kenya, I even don't know the last time I drank this coffee. But it is popularly known actually in uh, in Middle East, the country that have test, uh, stated the weight of man. Uh, if you go to Dubai, if you go to Qatar, uh, this is actually uh, the coffee that they drink. And uh, the way I'm preparing it, I'm preparing it in a traditional way. Uh, this is how they prepare it. But I've said it is being prepared depending uh, on different regions. Some other people actually prepare it, they want saffron, but uh, I like my Arabic coffee to be uh, perfect. So I have all the ingredients with me, and we're gonna taste it, and we're gonna see how it So for the serving of the Arabic coffee, uh, actually it depends uh, on your preference on how you are able to, to serve it. Uh, so uh, for me, uh, I like this uh, romantic cups. You know, this is a symbolization actually for this cup in, uh, uh, in Arabic way, actually the way they are. But uh, in most serving actually is different. When you are serving the guests, we serve them in something called the finjan. We have something called the finjan glasses. So this is where they take, they take it from. Uh, yeah, I'll show you. So when you are serving our guests in the restaurants, actually, we use finjan glasses uh, to serve them. Actually, this is where they put uh, 
Yeah, the Arabic coffee, then the drink. But for me, it's a new version. Uh, as Africans, we are used to holding the cup. So as you can see, the coffee is coming up. And it's boiling. So you need to be very careful at this point. You need to be very close. Check on it. Because if you don't check on it, it will pour. I can even uh, feel the aroma. Now uh, we're gonna go on uh, on the sieving part. Uh, how we are going to sieve it, and then we're gonna serve and test this coffee. Yeah. So the coffee is, is really done. As you can see, my coffee is really uh, dancing and boiling. So uh, colors. So it's time to uh, uh, to serve it. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put on my put off my um, my heat. Then the next thing from here, we're gonna save it now so that uh, we can able to test this the so-called Arabic food. So it's already done. So now we go to the saving point. Very hot, so I'm gonna uh, save it over here. The next one, please. This is where I save it. Then from here, I'm gonna add now my saffron. So remember we had uh, saffron, so I'll take saffron and uh, I'm gonna add, add, uh, add my saffron uh, over here. And uh, saffron is something uh, very good. Uh,
Utuondole changa uh, hili. I'll take my dollar. Uh, Nasi zetu zipone. Hinchi zetu zipone. Maisha yetu ya pone. Then I'll take my debt. Kepo ya corona ishindwe. Katika china wa yesu. Amen. But today we are three, so that's why we have three cups here. Then we have the bamboo sticks, and remember I told you actually the bamboo sticks, we're going to use them somewhere. So the bamboo sticks are for eating the dates latte, I mean uh, the dates. So we're going to put here one, and another one uh, you put here. You know, the good thing with the uh, Arabic people, they like sharing a lot. And that's what actually the, why I like uh, these guys, they like sharing. So, Put my mango stick here and I will have for picking up the bit. So that's basically the serving. Then uh, this is how it will go on the table. This is how it will go on the table. You see. So this is a full setup uh, of the side. So when it goes on the table, the light down there maintains the heat, uh, heating the dollar with the coffee. I have my beds over here and I have my cup over here. So the next thing that we're going to do now. Uh, is to sample this coffee and uh, we see if it has the dominant flavors the way we always see when we are doing our calibration. So we want to sample the coffee over here. This is the Executive, uh, no, executive service personnel. Uh, he has done this work for a very long time. Yes, we want to and you can also see the car actually is so it goes along with the dates? Yes. I don't have a stick, so my fingers have a stick. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank, Thank you, you for being uh, 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 stay tuned. Thank you very balanced, these two people as well. As I always say, Shukran Jazlan, Shukran Lakum. But the most important thing, don't forget to what shall we